We started off this lesson using our textbooks. Students were taking Cornell notes with either a partner or themselves. And we used that information, we discussed it a little bit, and we went into a graphic organizer that I created. I call it a twofold. Um, there's basically two flaps that are comparing, contrasting two ideas. And in the middle, there's some encompassing or comprehensive idea uh, that I want the students to grasp at the end of the lesson. After the twofold is completed, we're going to go into the Tide calendar, which is a very valuable tool to kind of wrap up the concepts being learned. So the textbook was used to gain the content, the background knowledge, the definitions, uh, learning the cycles, learning the differences between the two. And from there, we went into the graphic organizer, which allows them to put a little bit of their personality into it. They have a choice. They have some freedom in what kind of pictures to draw, how can they paraphrase the definitions. So it's not as much just uh, copying straight from the book or getting direct answers, A, B, C. It's more of what they got to think of to get their answers. After they get the content from the textbook and we discuss it, make sure everybody understands, we'll move into the graphic organizer, which then helps them to put a little more creativity into their work. After we've done all that, we'll do the application part. We'll bump up the rigor to get them thinking at a little higher level where we'll bring in the tide calendar. And it's something they might not be familiar with. Yeah, so they need to learn about it. And then they'll look for patterns, which is a little difficult because they need to understand the concepts before they can explain the patterns that they have seen in the Tide calendar. The Tide calendar is a great tool uh, that I kind of just thought of on my own because I like to fish and dive. And I was thinking one day, wow, you know, it, it actually shows a lot about the moon, the tides, the sunset, sunrise. And it fit perfectly with what the students need to learn about the uh, Earth, Moon, and Sun interactions. And it's all in one book. And a lot of them are familiar with a monthly calendar. And not a lot of them know about a Tide calendar. And they're all into apps nowadays. So I've been telling them, you know, download these Tide apps. Just see what's going on. And I can actually, every year I buy new Tide calendars so that they can look at their birthday for the actual year. So it's, it's kind of more of a personal connection to the lesson itself where they can go, oh yeah, that, that's my birthday. So I already, you know, the past few years I've been doing this, I've been hearing them sharing their birthdays with their friend and just that interest alone is kind of what engages them. So I was recently given a lunar, a Hawaiian lunar calendar uh, that it's slightly different, but it's not a monthly calendar, but it organizes by moon phases. And although it looks like a typical calendar, it's, it's a lot different. So the kids were surprised to see that. And they, they can clearly see the moon that's changing shape every day. And we compared that to a, a typical 12-month calendar. But I only have one. So it, it would be cool if I had a you know, whole class set of those two where they can actually look at them up close and do a comparison between the two. And they're, they're going to find out that they're actually pretty similar. The Tide calendars are, are great tools, um, but they're, the box that they have to look in for their specific date is really tiny. And for a middle school student to look in a, a one and a half inch by one and a half inch box and read 10 numbers from there and look at a graph, it's really difficult. So I do project it on the board, uh, but when they're actually doing the assignment in their groups, they're having to look at this tiny box. So it, I think they might be missing out on some key features in the box just because of the fact that it's so tiny for them, and they're not used to that. Maybe a bigger calendar, a bigger Tide calendar. They could get a kid-sized Tide calendar that I could have a class set for. You know, that I think it would be a lot more meaningful, and they would actually see the patterns better. Because a lot of times I've, I've heard them say, I can't see anything. But once I tell them to zoom in on the day and look at what the numbers are telling them, then they can actually visualize the changes throughout the time. This Tide calendar is almost identical to a 12-month calendar. They all know their birthdays. They like to share when their birthdays are with their friends. So I just thought it was a good way to kind of bring a personal touch to maybe not so exciting topic to a lot of them. So they can identify with their birthday and talk story a little bit and then bring them all back to what we're trying to learn 
which is how the patterns change throughout the years. And how does that relate back to the movement of the moon around the Earth, around the sun? 